My in-person guest is international song star. Just returned from a European tour, Mr. Trini Lopez. Trini, welcome to Project Sinatra. Thank you, Paul. When you were a small boy wanting to be a singer, did you have any dreams about your meeting with Sinatra, how it would happen, when it would happen? I think that a lot of uh, singers uh, in our business uh, at some time or another would like to uh, have the pleasure and honor of, of just uh, maybe getting a glimpse of Frank Sinatra. And that was my, my dream of someday uh, just seeing him on the street walking by or driving his car or something. And I'll never forget, right now we're in the uh, studios here in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard, and about three, four blocks from here is uh, where I first saw Sinatra for the first time, just by coincidence. Uh, Pezza di Amor uh, Italian restaurant is one of Sinatra's favorite Italian restaurants. And uh, I was coming by in my old beat-up station wagon in 1960 when I first came to Hollywood. And uh, Lord and behold, I see a man standing by a station wagon dressed very, very sharp with a hat on. And there was a black man putting some suitcases into the station wagon. And I, I did a double take and I said, my God, that's Frank Sinatra. And I stopped my car <laughs> right there in the, in the middle of the street and I stared and sure enough, it was Frank Sinatra. And I couldn't believe my eyes. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Now, I have admired Sinatra all my life. I don't think anybody loves Sinatra more than I do. <laughs> of course, the whole world loves Sinatra. But I, I am a big, big fan of his. And uh, I, I pulled over to the side because I was blocking traffic. And I got out of the car and I walked about maybe 25 feet from him and I did nothing but stare. And then I think he finally realized that somebody was staring through him and he turned around and gave me a dirty look. <laughs> so I, I got scared and I got in my car and I, and I took off. And I never forgot that day. As long as I live, I'll always remember seeing for the first time the man, like you call the voice. And uh, then three years later, I was asked to record for Reprise Records. Yes. And uh, my dream came true when I recorded Trini Lopez at PJ's and thank God the album became a big, big hit and he wanted to meet me. So uh, he asked my manager at that time, Bullis Durgham, he said uh, he would like to meet Trini. Would he bring him by uh, after lunch uh, to, uh, 20, uh, to Warner Brothers? He was doing a picture there called uh, Four for Texas. And so I walked in and uh, sure enough, he was standing there with uh, all kinds of people. Uh, Jimmy Van Heusen, Sammy Kahn, and Sammy Davis Jr. and all kinds of people. Uh, Anita Eckberg, and uh, he uh, he left the, the the crowd that he was talking to the minute he saw me, and he did a double take, and he came over to meet me with his hand extended, and uh, the first thing he said was, Trini, you're a great talent, and I never forget that as long as I live. Do you, right now, off the top of your head, when I say the name Sinatra, have a favorite song? God, yes, I do. What? <laughs> One of my favorites, uh, which is my favorite song, in fact, is Laura. Trini, it seems to me that you told me once when we were having an orange juice or something up at Universal about um, a dinner date you had with Sinatra. It was a beautiful story because I have heard about so many beautiful things that Sinatra does for people and uh, unfortunately not too many people know about these kind of beautiful things that he does. Uh, Sinatra invited me to dinner one night uh, in New York City at a beautiful French restaurant and um, it was uh, Mr. Sinatra Tina, Nancy, Nancy Sr., and myself. And uh, as we were getting out of the limousine to go into the restaurant, there was a little old lady selling flowers right outside the, uh, the, uh, the restaurant. So he sort of maneuvered all of us to go into the restaurant, and he would be right with us. And I stayed behind because I wanted to see what he was going to do. And he took out a $100 bill, and he gave it to the little lady and didn't take any flowers, just, just took his hand and sort of uh, caressed her cheek and said, take care of yourself. And, uh, and walked into the restaurant. Thank you, Trini Lopez, for appearing on Project Sinatra. My honor. Thank you, Paul. Project Sinatra continues.